Hey guys, welcome to episode number 108 of OG Toys. I'm OG. Today we're looking at more of the Mega Block Halo stuff. Today we got the ODST Ambush. It's 69 pieces and set number 96931. It does come with two very detailed and articulate minifigures. They are the Jump Pack Brutes and the ODST Urban Specialist. Very cool set. I picked this up at Walmart for 5 bucks. The entire set was five bucks. I think it's like about maybe twelve or thirteen dollars. Regular price, I got it for five bucks. Like I said in my past videos, Walmart is clearing out a bunch of toys, and uh, now's the time to pick up some stuff because there's some awesome prices on this stuff out there. If you wanted to ever get into Mega Block Halo, now is the time because, like I said, they have some crazy deals going on, and uh, I greatly appreciate the savings. Thank you very much, Walmart. So let's get on to the review and uh, let's take a look at some of these awesome figures. But the first thing I want to show you is the instruction booklet. It's a pretty thin instruction booklet. You know, very basic build. It doesn't take long at all. Like probably like not even five minutes to build this thing. But they got an awesome battle scene there. A lot of cool sets. I do have this battle base here. This uh, structure that's freaking awesome. And that's really the core for one of my uh, displays. It's really well put together. Very nicely detailed, and of course it comes with that mongoose, which is really cool. So there you go, just to show you some of that awesome Mega Block Halo stuff that's available. And then it just goes into details on the parts, how to build your figure. All these figures are interchangeable, customizable, just like your uh, World of Warcraft guys as well. Very simple instructions, and uh, boom, you got a fully completed set within a couple of minutes here. And it's a nice looking set as well. I really do like the minifigures. That's the main feature on this thing for me. You know, the play structure itself, the building is uh, really cool. But let's take a look at these figures first. So this is the ODST Urban Specialist. And uh, the blue is very striking. It's an like awesome contrast with the black and the silver gray paint apps that are on the figure. They did a phenomenal job with it. I really like the weapon as well. It's like a little submachine gun here. It's really nicely detailed. Could have used a bit more paint apps, but probably I'll take care of myself. And uh, it's just a cool looking machine gun. It looks very cool on the figure. And of course, it does have the peg in the back, so if you want to just attach it, you can do that. You just push the barrel into his back, or the handle, excuse me. And uh, there you go. Tons of detail on this guy. Let's give you a bit of a close up overview of it. I love the way they integrate the uh, the camouflage here into the black armor. It looks really cool. And the face mask as well. Nicely detailed. The articulation on the figure, you do have the ball jointed head. The good range of movement looking up. Not too bad going down. You got a ball joint in the arm, pin in the elbow, full 360 on the wrist, full 360 on the waist as well. It's a little stiff on this guy. You got a ball joint in the leg and a pin at the elbow. You can get these guys into some pretty awesome poses as well. And uh, definitely a step up over some of the other mini figures that we've seen in the past. Great paint apps on this guy. Really impressive. Definitely one of the highlights of this set. But I think um, both figures are really well done. And definitely make this set worthwhile to get. So this guy here is the Jump Pack Brute, and I really like the way it's designed. Again, the color scheme, it's got nice attention on the paint apps. You can see all the bands and straps on his forearm and along his boots on the back. This is his jet pack, nicely detailed. It's got these sharper edges on the back here. For the engines, he's carrying this huge, I don't know if it's a grenade or a mace or something like that. This weapon is very nicely designed. You got the two blades in the front, and it's a very cool looking handgun and of course this clear transparent stand is included so it gives it that you know that appearance that the figure is flying or hovering through the air and that's pretty darn cool we'll pop it off the display stand and basically that clear transparent base just plugs into a hole right here into the jetpack and the figure of course does have some great details on it just like all these mega block figures I've had you can see the eyes painted there as well. 
Really like the combination of the color scheme on this figure. He definitely looks like a massive monster, and uh, you definitely want to have second thoughts about attacking this thing. Really well done, though. Same detail as the uh, the ODST figure. So you got some really good articulation there. I'll just pop off this jetpack and I'll show you what he looks like from behind. He has the the brown vest swinging all the way around. And he's got some att attachments to his front chest here as well. Just an overall really impressive looking figure. So we'll just snap that back onto the display stand. Now let's take a look at the ruins of this UN UNSC Recruitment Center. It's pretty cool. It's a basic build. Um, what I like about it is the structure you see underneath all the damaged bricks. Like the, the, the piping here from the skeleton of the building. This beam here. You got the two tones on the brick as well. The brick looks a little battered and beat up. You got some stickers there to add some more definition into the damage of the building as well. This computer monitor system right up front. Lots of area for your figures to hang out on the top or on the inside if they're ducking from cover or whatever the case may be. You want to add this into in a battle scene. It's a pretty cool looking piece. And of course, this will be built in a couple minutes. Not very difficult to build whatsoever. But like I said, I got this set for 5 bucks. 100% worth it. I probably would have paid the full price for it. Just these minifigures are so well done. And it's a cool little display piece as well. So there you go, guys. This has been uh, the Otis... ODST Ambush review. Hope you like it. And definitely rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Take care.